Level Company B60 has come out and it is incredible! Adding a new interior, new scrap, changes to enemies, a new entity, a new rare event that can happen, new items, and the disabling of the kidnapper fox. This last one is the one we will be talking about today, as I think it was very much needed due to the backlash that it's gotten. But to me, personally, it has a really cool concept that can be taken advantage of, and I think I know how we can fix the kidnapper fox. One of the main complaints regarding the kidnapper fox is its health being 7 hits and its attacks being insta kill. So, I decided to change it, so it kills in 3 hits and dies in 4 similarly to a Woonhawk. It will still pull you with its tongue, but it will deal consistent damage, so you can have more time to free yourselves from the grasp of the kidnapper fox. Also, when a kidnapper fox's tongue is hit with a shovel or a knife, it will be stunned for a couple seconds and retreat. Now, for spawns. I think the mechanic of returning to a moon too many times is a cool concept, so we will be leaving that in. Also, bane traps will strictly spawn far from the tip. When a fox is guaranteed to spawn there, there will be a rose in its nest as a visual indicator that it's time to begin worrying about it. But here's the deal, I think it would be cool if the concept of a play was further explored with the fox so each time, the more paint trouts, the more foxes will be able to spawn. What? No, no, alright, I know that sounds bad. But hear me out. Now, how would one free themselves from so many foxes? How would such a destructive, chaotic creature be deal with when it's multiple of them? Well, I think the best way possible, it would be by making it so players have to participate more as a garden role. You can now easily kill one fox, but eventually ignoring the trouts will be an awful idea, so now, the wood killer does its job quicker, only being able to kill a trout temporarily without stopping the increase on spawns like it does in vanilla. But it is the easiest way. Or, you can grab your trustworthy shovel and take your sweet time to remove trouts from the roots with a little minigame so they don't spawn further in the run. This way, apparently being able to stop foxes from spawning consistently. I think that way the players will be able to be more involved with the addition of the kidnapper fox and just be able to participate more in general, having more things to do in game having more things to do when in the chip, more things to worry about, and most importantly to me, is that enemies in Little Company are special because they are random. Like, you know there will be more dogs in this moon, or there will be more giants in this moon, but... But you don't know how many, you don't know when they will spawn, you don't know where, so... I think that would add more of a vanilla feeling to the kid number fox and you only make it feel better in the game. So, thank you very much for watching the video. I hope that you liked it and please subscribe, I would really, really appreciate it. And also hit the bell so you can be notified when my next videos will be posted. I will be making more videos like this, adding more ideas to Little Company, such as new entities, new moons, new items, new scrap, and not only Little Company, but many other games. So stay tuned for that if you like that kind of videos also. Also, you can subscribe now to my secondary channels, one for my bots on Twitch and one for my clips. So thank you very much for watching, and I will see you soon. Bye!